Donald Trump, the 45th President of the United States, has recently unveiled a surprising message directed toward Christians. Known for his impactful statements, Trump's latest revelation has stirred significant interest among believers. And not only Christians, he even talks about Jesus and Israel. What did he say and what impact could that lead to? In this video, we'll explore this intriguing message to uncover what it means for the Christian community. In his message, Trump emphasized the significance of Jesus Christ to the American people. He referenced the story of the angel appearing to the shepherds to announce the birth of Jesus in Bethlehem, bringing great joy. Trump also admitted that America needs a savior today. However, he humbly stated that he is not that savior. He believes that there is someone much higher up who can be considered the true savior, referring to Jesus Christ. Trump expressed his concerns about the withdrawal of troops from Afghanistan, immigration, and inflation, but also gave credit to the church and Jesus for key moments in history. This reflects his religious conviction, as Trump expressed his belief in the influence of Jesus Christ and his teachings on American history in the quoted statements. He attributed America's achievements, such as overcoming the Civil War, ending slavery, defeating communism and fascism, and making great scientific discoveries to the influence of Jesus Christ. Trump emphasized that Jesus Christ is the ultimate source of strength and hope for America. Additionally, he referred to himself as the King of Israel and made controversial remarks about Jewish people in the Oval Office. In the Oval Office, Donald Trump made controversial remarks about Jewish people, questioning their intelligence and loyalty if they vote for Democrats. He also boasted that he was the King of Israel. And how did the media and the public respond to Donald Trump's statements in the Oval Office? This statement obviously sparked controversy, especially considering that a significant percentage of American Jews identify as Democrats. However, Trump also found support from individuals who expressed admiration for him, with some going as far as likening him to the second coming of God. Trump has made several controversial statements about his role in history and his relationship with Israel. One of the most notable instances is when he referred to himself as the Chosen One in relation to his trade war with China. According to various reports, Trump made this statement during a conversation with reporters and even looked up to the sky when he said it. This claim can be traced back to his Truth Social account, where he posted that he could be the Prime Minister of Israel. Trump expressed his desire for Jewish people in the U.S. to be more thankful for what he did for Israel. However, it remains unclear why Trump made these statements, but he has been making similar remarks about Jewish people since he became president in 2016. Despite his controversial remarks about Jewish people since 2016, Trump claimed on Truth Social that he was the most helpful president for Israel. He also mentioned that evangelicals seem to like him more than Jewish people in the U.S. do, but he believes that Israelis really like him and he could easily be their prime minister. Trump concluded his statement by saying that U.S. Jews need to appreciate what they have in Israel before it is too late. These remarks have generated mixed reactions, with some people interpreting them as a sign of arrogance and others seeing them as a reflection of Trump's strong support for Israel. During his time as president, Donald Trump had a group of pastors and evangelical leaders who supported him and praised his conservative views, choices for judges, and support for Israel's government. These pastors often prayed with Trump, and many of them believed that he was a true Christian. However, Trump's recent actions and comments have led to questions about the authenticity of his faith. One instance where Trump appeared to mock the expressions of faith of two devout politicians was when he made fun of Catholic House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and Latter-day Saint Mitt Romney. Throughout his time in office, former President Donald Trump rarely discussed his religious beliefs openly. He identified himself as a Presbyterian and attended church services only occasionally, such as St. John's Episcopal Church near the White House during Christmas and Easter. Trump also attended an Episcopal Church in Florida for his marriage and the Washington National Cathedral, another Episcopal Church. Despite claiming the Bible as his favorite book, he never mentioned a specific verse that held personal significance for him. Trump's understanding of Christianity seemed to differ from traditional beliefs. He often stated that he did not like asking God for forgiveness, which is a common practice among Christians when they make mistakes. 
In contrast, Christians are expected to show evidence or fruit of their faith, which can include confessing their belief in Jesus as Lord and God's resurrection of Him. This belief is believed to lead to salvation and the transformation of a person into a Christian. Being a Christian means having faith in Jesus Christ and His teachings. According to the Bible, one must confess with their mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in their heart that God raised Him from the dead to be saved. This faith often leads to practicing Christian activities, such as praying, attending church, giving money to support the faith, and reading the Bibli. Trump's understanding of Christianity seemed to differ from traditional beliefs. He often stated that he did not like asking God for forgiveness, which is a common practice among Christians when they make mistakes. In contrast, Christians are expected to show evidence or fruit of their faith, which can include confessing their belief in Jesus as Lord and God's resurrection of Him. This belief is believed to lead to salvation and the transformation of a person into a Christian. Being a Christian means having faith in Jesus Christ and His teachings. According to the Bible, one must confess with their mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in their heart that God raised Him from the dead to be saved. This faith often leads to practicing Christian activities. Some people questioned whether Donald Trump was a true Christian because they did not see evidence of him regularly practicing Christian activities like praying, attending church, or reading the Bible. This further leads us to wonder whether Donald Trump is the Antichrist. While there are discussions and debates among Bible prophecy experts regarding the identity of the Antichrist, several factors argue against the notion that Donald Trump could be the Antichrist. One key point of debate is the Antichrist's ethnicity as described in biblical prophecies. Some scholars suggest that the Antichrist may be of Jewish descent because according to their interpretation, he would need to be Jewish for Jews to consider him the Messiah. On the other hand, some believe the Antichrist will arise from a revived Roman Empire symbolized by the ten horns of the beast in Revelation chapter 17 verse 3. This interpretation often associates the Antichrist with modern-day Europe. In examining these perspectives, it's important to note that Donald Trump does not fit these criteria. He is not of European origin unless one considers the United States as part of Europe within the context of biblical prophecy, which is a stretch. Moreover, Donald Trump is not ethnically or religiously Jewish. He openly professes faith in Jesus Christ as his savior. This declaration of faith in Jesus Christ is a significant departure from the biblical description of the Antichrist, who is expected to oppose and deceive believers. While anyone can claim to follow a religion, it seems highly unlikely that the Antichrist, whose role is often associated with deception and opposition to Christianity, would openly identify as a follower of Jesus Christ. It's worth acknowledging that certain characteristics attributed to the Antichrist in the Bible bear a resemblance to traits possessed by Donald Trump. Donald Trump is widely recognized as a charismatic, intelligent, and determined individual. His rallies and speeches often draw thousands of enthusiastic attendees, showcasing his ability to inspire and connect with large audiences. If we look at the Antichrist as prophesied in the Bible, he will likely need to possess charisma, intelligence, and unwavering determination. These qualities would be crucial for deceiving the entire world in the end times as described in passages like 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 11. The Antichrist is expected to rise as a leader within a one-world governmental system, making these attributes essential for his role. One of the most significant factors in identifying the Antichrist is his relationship with the nation of Israel. According to biblical teachings, the Antichrist will establish a seven-year peace covenant with Israel but then break it after three and a half years, as outlined in Daniel chapter 9, verse 27. In this scenario, the Antichrist will initiate a second holocaust, attempting to annihilate the nation of Israel among Jews worldwide. Interestingly, Donald Trump has openly expressed strong support for the nation of Israel. During his political career, he has asserted his commitment of coming to Israel's defense in the event of an attack. Notably, Trump has referred to negotiating peace between Israel and the Palestinians as the ultimate deal. It's possible that some form of agreement between Israel and the Palestinians could play a role in the prophesied end time.
seven-year peace covenant. Though, the specifics remain a matter of interpretation and speculation within the realm of biblical prophecy.